Hey guys, this is Mike here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna go through with you uh, the steps by step guide on how to flash Lineage OS 16 to your OnePlus 3T. Of course, end of the day, um, currently what is available for I think Android Pie is coming to OnePlus 3T Oxygen OS version. So if you like it, you can actually use that, wait for that. I think the official OTA should be soon. Of course, now the beta, this is running on a beta version. Of course, if you want to switch to a more uh, different kind of like uh, ways in terms of playing around with your uh, phone itself, then you can actually opt to do a Lineage OS update, right? So, before we do that, of course, day, there are certain things that you need to enable. First of all, is you need to enable developer options. So normally that will be on the build number. So we need to type on build number seven times. Then you are now a developer. Then you go back there. Then you look for developer options. So where is the developer option? Um, so if you can't find it, logically just search for the developer options, which is this. So here, uh, you will need to allow OEM unlocking, enable, and also allow USB debugging. Okay, so once you have these enabled, you are ready to move on to to connect this device to your PC for the rest of the uh, setup on how to actually do the Linux OS installation. So let's just get on to the PC for the setup. Okay, when you are doing uh, ADB devices on your machine, you normally will be prompt uh, this particular prompt uh, to allow USB debugging. So what you normally do will always allow it and press on OK. This will enable communication between your phone and the computer to do the ADB stuff, right? So let's just get on the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, so the next thing you do once you have your phone connected is to actually make sure that you download all the needed files like the uh, Lineage OS, zip files, the OpenGX files and also your TWRP. So the next thing you need to do is to boot your device into fast boot mode. So how you need to do that is that uh, you need ADB installed on your PC. So if you want a minimal one then you can use minimal ADB and fast boot. I'll leave a link down below. That is the uh, lightest ADB version and the most useful one I've used so far. So um, what you need to do next is to do ADB devices to ensure the device is connected. So once you have the device connected, you can do an ADB reboot, boot loader. That will boot you into fast boot mode. So um, yeah, once you're in fast boot mode, what you can do now is to try to do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So once you have the fast boot connected, so the next thing you will need to do is to do a fast boot OEM unlock. Okay, before you run this, logically, please make sure that you back up whatever you need to back up because once you do that, they will actually uh, do a factory reset on your device and all your data will be gone. So make sure you do a backup before you run this. So once you have everything backed up and you're ready to go, then you can do a fast boot OEM unlock to unlock your bootloader and um, then we can do a lot of other stuff, right? So just press on enter. Then you should see something pop up on your screen uh, for you to see whether you want to unlock or uh, whatever stuff you want to do, right? So let's just get onto the phone. Okay, generally this is the screen you're going to see whether you want to unlock or put order or not. So you just choose OK and press on the power button here. Then you should be unlocking. But like what I said, once you do that, all the personal data will be deleted. So make sure that you back do a backup. So once you're you are ready to do this, then you just press on the power button and they will start unlocking your boot loader. So they will go for a restart again or boot to fast boot again. Then they will proceed on to the... Uh, they are wiping the system now. So once it finish, it should be rebooted back into fast boot and they will be process, uh, they will be continue on the process of flashing the initial mess. Okay, so once you have uh, done the FAT OEM unlock, they would take a while for them to, after wiping your data, to actually reboot back into the system where you will need to do the repeat the same step of enable USB debugging again 
so that you can get your ADB connected. Right, so now when you do ADB devices, you should see that the device is already connected. So once the device is connected, you will need to go back to fast boot mode. So you do ADB reboot, boot loader again, to boot into fast boot mode. So we'll wait. Once it's in fast boot mode and you're unlocked now, so you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. Then the next thing to do is to flash custom recovery. So if you look at it now, you have a custom recovery here. So you can do a fast boot flash recovery. Then EWRP recovery. So once you have flashed that, you are done. So you can either go to um, boot recovery again later on or you can just directly boot using a fast boot if you don't go through the hassle of rebooting your device and go to recovery again or shut down a device and stuff like that so normally what i'll do i'll just do a fast boot boot twrp which will bring you straight to the twrp boot loader itself so now we'll move to the phone for some of the settings to be done so once you have that you can just check for your files, like I see here, once you see the village OS uh, package, you can just click on it, add more zip, click on it, and once you are done, you just do a confirm flash. Oh, before you do that, you might want to do a wipe, just do a advanced wipe, just delete all these uh, internet. I think you can just do a format data, no, no format data, just do a wipe, factory reset, so once you're done, just go back, back and do an install, then do a Lineage OS, add more zip, GFs, add more zips, uh, no, you don't add more already, ah, uh, I'm sorry, just add more zips, then add another GFs, then once you're done, what you want to do is you just swipe to confirm flash. So what you're going to do now is to flash your file itself. Okay, as you can see now, um, we are done. Then we just do a wipe the big cache. So when that is ready, we can do a reboot system. Do not install. Then we will just need to wait for the NHOS to finish booting. Uh, if you have unlocked phone, then you will see this particular uh, message. You can just ignore that for now. So, yep, let's just wait for the uh, NHOS to boot up. Hey guys, it's getting late here. Um, yep, uh, now we have the start screen uh, as of this. Um, so what we do now is just gonna start, skip this, and skip this again, continue, thanks, talk, talk, process offers, uh, accept, and skip this as well, not now, skip anyway, then okay, next. Start. Okay, guys, uh, the Lineage OS has been booted up and installed for now. I mean, like, everything seems to be working fine if you look at it. Um, yep. If you look at it now, it's stating that it's running on Android 9, the digital well being and stuff. So, it depends on which GF package you swipe, uh, you will actually flash. So, ultimately, now it's running on Android 9. Version 9, but the problem is that I think they are still running on a November security patch. Click on this uh, vendor security patch. But Android security patch is at April 5th, which is uh, one of the latest one. Right, so like I said, um, for now, what was 3T? I think there will be still one um, uh, OTA coming for Android 9 Pi. So it's still up to date, up to a certain date itself. So ultimately, if uh, in future there isn't any more updates, this might be something that you want to consider. So that's all I have, for, I have for today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, that's all for now. If you do like what I'm doing, please do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!